Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to do some organization. Gels have needed to be organized. I mean, they're not terrible. I mean, cause we're deconstructing them first and then we're gonna make them. So they're not terrible, but I wanted to redo them. So I'm kind of moving things around and consolidating and really just trying to organize things so I can like easily grab things because with a very young child now um <laughs> things are a little bit harder and i just need to know where things are so i'm going to be color coding but not necessarily like rainbow order kind of like just my order <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing like all like the clears and then I think I go into pinks and stuff like that. So I think I do this fast forward part of the reorganization of the glitters on the gels until about the four and a half minute mark. And then we get into the explanation and I kind of walk you through like my mindset and show some of my favorites. So if you want to see the end result, keep on watching. bring you into my thought process behind this so buttercreams are my absolute favorite absolute favorite I wish I had them all I probably will continue to add more and less potted gels cuz I'm, I'm just feeling it I buttercreams are my favorite I was collecting collecting I was getting colored gels before the buttercreams came out and then the buttercreams were released and I was like all right, I need it so bad. And everyone's favorite is Rosy Posy. And that is in a color gel and a buttercream. This is probably my most used buttercream, hands down, my most used. I love it 
so much. And again, I need to swatch these guys. I think they're mostly pinks. Um, Frosty Paws is a white. Jack and Jill, I think, is a blue. Blue green, yeah. So, but they are like the size of the buttercreams because these are more sample size. And then I kind of want like reds to pinks that are more like coral, red to coral. And then I have um, like berry colors. So this is kind of like a coral pink red. Then I have green into some blue and more like a aqua. Then I have blue into purple. And then I have more purple and then I have scarlet. Scarlet is such a weird color. It is absolutely stunning, but it's a purpley pink and it's just, I go purple even though it like looks pink. So I don't know. And then I have silvers back here. I have my nudes. Okay, pink tutu I have in the buttercream as well. I didn't mean to, but this is a pink, but look at how nude that is. So I just left that with the nudes. And then I have Relay Gray, Marshmallow, and Morning Grind. So, and then Lover's Lane is a black, I think, right? So, okay, that is black fuzzies. I don't know if that's gonna, is that fuzzies? No, it has just a little bit of glitter in it. So I guess that's more black and I could put it over by Morning Grind. I don't know, this works in my mind. And then I have my foil gels all over there. So I love it, not gonna lie. Again, keeping with the shallow drawers. So if we zoom out a tad, the drawers here are deeper. So I had my color gels here and then glitter gels in here. But when you close them, you can see these are a lot shallower of drawers and these are much deeper. So I'm hoping to put things that are a little bit thicker or need more height in there. Let's get to the glitter. All right, the glitter is of course my favorite, obviously. So this again is how my mind is working so we kind of have like iridescent into silver into pink iridescent. Does that make sense? So these are majority iridescent and then I have like a couple silvers in here. Um, like these new ones that they came out with this year. Like, yes. And then Fairy Good is one of my favorites that they came out with. Look at that. I just want that on my nails at all times. So then I kind of have some nude glitters here. Pixie Party is kind of nude, but it's not like full nude. So I kind of just stuck it in there. I like it a lot. You know what I think is the most underrated? So French Press is like, French Press and Sophia is like the colors to have. Um, if you're starting out, I should literally, I should do a video on like starting out like your colors. But this I think is the most underrated color. So this is, whoop, this is smoothie. And this is literally the perfect nude glitter. If you want a nude glitter, this is it. Like that is the nude glitter. Like, hands down. And then I have like brighter pinks. And then I have like aqua sea foamy colors into blues, into purples. Cause I have a lot of colors that could go like, Jester is like the blue purple everyone thinks about. Um, and then this guy after dark, is that a blue? Is it a purple? I mean, I think it's blue, but also could go purple. So it's literally my last blue into my purples. Shaved Ice is a great just purple if you're looking for just a purple. It's like a purple silver, 
but it's like predominantly purple. And then reds, and then I have a couple oranges. These kind of go one yellow, and then Snake Charmer is a super dark green um, and moves like Jagger. So Zinger, those are like the only colors I have for like the rainbow. And then we're in golds, and then we're in the blacks and gun metals, and then like mixed dark where I still consider this like semi dark but like multiple glitters but it's kind of like a purple but is it a black is it it's just a lot of everything so aesthetically I just put it it's the Sophia it's the dark Sophia yeah that's the best way to describe it and then we have like the gunmetal the dark the what the hail so that is that guy so these are my newly organized gels and i am so obsessed thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today organizing these and uh we'll get to the rest of the drawers eventually so thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye